<sighs> Hi everyone, welcome back to JPWHU TV. My name is John, your host as always. I hope you're all doing well. This video is sponsored by 3retro.com. Please click the link in the description below so you get to see the West Ham section of their website where you can purchase retro kits from the 60s all the way through to the early 2000s, including the 1976 home kit and also the 1980 FA Cup final kit that is inspired this new season's shirts, which you are about out to see I really really can't wait to do this I've had these on at work. I got these delivered at work and I've not even touched the box the bag yet apart from obviously taking the labels off that's it that's oh I can't wait to do this so much restraint today it's unbelievable um, so there's also Admiral and Umbro track jackets sweatshirts t-shirts and polo shirts in the link in the description below so go check those out the first 20 purchases that are made through the link my commission will be going directly to Isla's fight so thank you very much for any purchases that you may be making so guys as I said here we are here we go is the, here, here it is. Is the bag with the home and away kits on in here? Is a knife. So let's let's open this bad boy. Actually, in fact, might need the knife. So what do we have out out first? The home kit. So let's take the home kit out. Look at that. They sent me the right ones as well without sponsorship. So what do you think of that guys? Let me know what you think. Do you think that looks good without the sponsorship? Put it in the comments in the comments section below. I absolutely love this. I think it's beautiful without the, uh, without the, without the sponsorship on it at all. No disrespect to Betway, but look at it. Look, you've got the five stripes there, dark blue. Very, very nice. And on the back, Obviously proof that it's directly from West Ham. And as you can see, the bowling castle. Brilliant. And also on the side here, the Bassett and Gold. So really look at I'm loving the looks at look of this. Absolutely sweet. And through the magic of editing, there you go. That's what the home shirt looks like. Let me know what you think on it, guys. Let's have a look at the mirror here. I'm I'm absolutely loving this. I really, really do like it. It's a large as well, so it fits me perfectly fine. Um, I don't like them too tight, except my wound, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, I really like the look of this. I, it's absolutely impressive. Now guys, this is all shot in one take, so there may be a bit of light discrepancy because the camera is obviously adjusting to the different colors. Um, so apologies if I look overexposed or underexposed. Um, but yeah, here we go. So this is what it looks like. I am. I really like this. The, the the I absolutely love this fit. I really, really do. Um, the badge actually looks nice, set in that blue background. I must admit, I really do like like it. It's it feels nice. It feels good. I'm happy with it. So by all means, let's check out the next one. Here we go. The home shirt. That's why the away shirt, I should say home shirt. I'm wearing the bloody home shirt. <laughs> it's been a long day, people. A long, long day. Oh, wow. Oh, my days. And you don't hear me say that very often. But, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, bloody hell, one bro. I've done a very, very good job on this. Wow. That looks, that, I really, really like that badge. That, I, I can't get over how good that looks. I really, really can't get over how good that looks. The neck piping looks beautiful. You've got the stripes here, down down here on the, there as well. Black Bassett and gold emblem. Again, looks beautiful. Really works well. And a really decent representation of that. Now also, in the home, sh the, the way shirt. I hope, hope you can see that. The FA Cup final bit as well. So when I put this on, I'm going to check back on the, the, the home shirt to see if that, that's got anything on there. It should do, but we'll see. So again, magic ed of ed editing, even. I was about to say Everton then. <laughs> the magic of editing. So there you go. Here's the, here's the away shirt. 
absolutely beautiful. Again, really well cut. Very, very impressed with these Ambrose Ambrose. What I also need, needed to mention as well is you've got we've got those little chevrons, I think you pronounce it, up at the up in the corner there as well. Obviously, look at the, the blue stripe, very, very nice as we saw in the pictures. And also, just to be clear, for consistency, there's nothing in the back of that one. But also at the bottom of both shirts as well, we've also got the official tag and it's serial number, I guess. But yeah, absolutely well worth the purchase in my opinion. Guys, let me know what you think of this. Um, do, you, do you like these shirts? I mean, which one do you prefer? Now you've seen somebody actually wear it, that a, a normal average support, supporter, for lack of a better way of putting it. What do you think? I really, I really, really like these. Really, really like these. Um, I'm, it's going to be very, very difficult for me to decide what I'm going to be wearing when I go to the home games next season. Am I going to be wearing this? Am I going to be wearing the, the, the home shirt? I might mix some, well, I can't, can't mix and match. I'm not doing a 50-50 shirt, but not, not after spending £100 on these, Christ, no. Um, but, yeah, really, really love this. Really, I, it's, Every single sh game that I review for you guys, um, for the home sh games, I'll be wearing the home shirt and the away games, I might, I'll wear the away shirt. Or I might actually, actually, think, actually probably thinking about it, I might actually just rotate. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure yet. But, anyway, that's that's for another time. So thank you very much for your time, guys. Let me know in your co the comments in the, in the section below what you think of these. I'm really interested to see what you, th you think of this now that you've actually seen it on a normal, as I say, a normal person. Um, <laughs> so thank you very much for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, the, the channel's on now 732 subscribers last time I looked. Beautiful. I love you all. We're well on target for the 750 by the subscribers by the end of the month. So please, if you're new round round here, welcome. You're always your input is always appreciated. Um, by all means, please, if you like the channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Put your comments in the comment section below. If you feel I deserve it, then by all means, guys, please click the like button as well. And also, please share this video with anybody that you feel may want to watch it. Hopefully, this is going to be one of the first. I'm going to be one of the first people putting this video up. So thank you very much for your time. If you are around tomorrow o'clock at 9 o'clock UK AM, myself, Baz Cox and AJ Palmer from the Kiwi Hammers, we're going to be doing a live pod podcast, broadcast, whatever you want to look talk about, well, basically broadcast, um, reviewing, discuss, or sorry, discussing uh, the 1920 fixtures when they come up. So, guys, if you're free, then by all means, jump on that. Jump in the live chat. I want to know what your thoughts are. The video's probably not going to take too long. I mean, we'll obviously be dissecting it through month by month. But, yeah, I want to get your, your input on these guys. So, thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And, hopefully, I will see you live at 9 tomorrow morning. Am I going to get more viewers than Good Morning Britain? <laughs> or the BBC News? We'll see. We'll find out. Thanks for your time. See you soon.